Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? If you have been on social media for any amount of time, you have probably seen a eyeshadow swatch picture that caused you to run out and purchase whatever palette it was right away. You went past go, there was no stop and collect 200. You went right to the website, purchased it, no second thoughts. I think that I would say majority of us have been there or at least we've thought about you know, impulsively buying something like that based on a swatch video or a picture. And there was one post in particular with the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette, which I will leave up for you right now, where I was like, oh wow, like these shimmers look amazing, amazing. It definitely contributed to how much I wanted to purchase the palette. It wasn't like the whole reason, but like it made it more tempting more beautiful in my eyes. Then when I got it and I swatched it out, I was kind of like, hmm, my swatches don't quite look like these Instagram swatches, which obviously this is a video, like you can see Natasha Denona doing the whole thing. I don't know what that was. And you can see it in live action. So it looks real, it looks legit, but I don't know, it doesn't translate for me when I'm swatching. So I thought it'd be really interesting to go through and take some very like special, intense, beautiful swatch pictures from some different really loved brands. I've got, you know, a little more mainstream here with some Natasha Nona, some Pat McGrath, but then we've also got some Indie with Adept, Glaminatrix, Cosmic Brushes. I found some really intense swatches from all of these brands and I thought that we could kind of try and recreate the swatches and see how close it is, if it's legit, Instagram versus reality. And you know, I've said it before and I will say it again, swatches are not everything. Obviously, they can give you a really good idea of the color story, they can give you a good idea of the quality, but it's all about performance on the eyes. So, you know, take this with a grain of salt. I might say like, oh, this isn't swatch as amazing as it looks like it's gonna swatch, but it still works perfect on my eyes. So that is what matters the most. So let me go ahead and show you the swatch video one more time of the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette because that's what we're gonna start off with here. In this video, I think that they are swatching this middle shade and this deeper shade right here. I think those two are the most intense, but it actually doesn't say which is which, so I'm assuming here, but we can swatch it out and see. Like this is a pretty shadow, but I don't know that it has that level of shine. So I feel like that's a normal swatch for me, you know, just like a little mm, in the pan, like not going crazy, but you know, obviously trying to pick up a decent amount of shadow. Here we go. Okay. So, I mean, the pigmentation is there, but this shade does not look the same. Like the shine level, obviously you can see there is like a shine factor there, but oh my gosh, nowhere near as intense. This one I would say is a little bit of a flop. This palette is still beautiful. It's a great neutral palette, but yeah, I don't know if I trust those swatches. So like I said, I already kind of knew that the I Need a Nude palette wasn't like the best swatching shimmers like in comparison to how they looked on Instagram. So I thought we would give Natasha Denona one more chance with the Xenon palette because there are some really intense swatches from this palette, basically done in the exact same format. And I feel like we can expect to see more of this format in the future from Natasha Denona launches because the original video did really well. I saw a lot of people talking about it. So, I mean, I would assume their social media team took note and they're going to keep doing swatches like that. So in this video, of the Xenon palette, it looks like, I think that it's going to be this silver and then this like more gunmetally, like deeper charcoal silver. Those look like the most two intense shades in the palette. We're gonna do this shade first, you know, just trying to get the exact same look. Maybe get a cute little Instagram versus reality thumbnail out of this. Again, I'm just gonna try and pick up like, you know, a decent amount of shadow, but nothing crazy. We're definitely not hitting pan by any means. Okay, so here we go again. Ooh, okay. So, I mean, I would still say like the amount of like shadow that she must have picked up to do that amount of swatches. 
I, I don't know how much you would need for that, but it seems like a lot. I feel like the shine on this is a little bit more accurate. Like this is really, really pretty. Hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to go back in and like kind of do a second layer of this swatch, but I'm wondering if there's any primer on the arm. Cause this is just my arm as is. I didn't add any extra moisturizer, no primer, no foundation, anything like that. So here we go. Adding a little bit more. I mean, you know what? That does look pretty intense, but I still feel like it does not look as intense as the Instagram video, but I'm not mad at it. I would say, I know that like, obviously this is not everyone's color story, but I would say the shimmers in here are even prettier than the shimmers in the I Need a Nude palette. Okay, dokie, so let's see what we've got next here. Actually, y'all, I took so long to go through Pat McGrath's Instagram to find a video of something that I owned from her because I have not bought any of her newer releases and I know that Pat McGrath is like the queen of like the most like sparkly, ridiculous Instagram videos. Like you just know from watching it that that's not exactly going to be like in your in real life experience. But I took so long going through her Instagram. I was probably scrolling for 20 minutes to find swatches of this. This was the first thing I owned, like the last release that she came out with. And then the Instagram app like wouldn't load and closed out on me. So basically I got swatches of this and I was kind of like, well, let me see what other swatches she has. Uh, no, I was not scrolling through all of her reels again. In this little video, she went through and it looks like she did swatches of these three shimmers and they look so sparkly. What really stood out to me is that this, this minty shade looked beautiful. And I don't know, like, you guys, I just feel like mine is kind of chalky in comparison. Like, I feel like my swatch, like, does not look anywhere near as pretty. And then there's this shade here, which, um, I mean, I guess, like, has some, like, sparkliness to it. It's, like, a really pretty antique greeny gold. And then we've got a really sparkly rose gold. I will say this one, like... I would say is probably the most accurate the way that it looks in the video. I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think. Does this look, is it giving the same vibe? I'm gonna say that that one is neutral. I'm not like super impressed, but I'm also not like, oh, I'm disappointed by the difference. I feel like, you know, it's okay, it's okay. And then let's do the Adept Cosmetics Minka palette next, which this is beautiful. Adept has some really, really pretty um, swatch videos. I don't know why mine is like, my palette is like falling apart a little bit right here. Like it's like coming loose. It's just a very strong magnet, I think. Here is what Minka looks like. She is a beauty. So for this video, they have like swatches on the hand, like going like this. And they did show the whole palette, but I thought maybe we could do just one of the like metallic, like sparkly shades in comparison. And then one of the multi-chromes in comparison, because that's what stood out to me in this video, but we don't have to swatch every single one. So let's just go in with Maya because it's a really, really pretty one and see like, are we seeing the same level of sparkles? I'll try to get like a similar area. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I mean, I guess I kind of already knew that like Adept is so, so good, but I barely like put my finger in that at all. And the sparkles are pretty good. I would say that is the closest like Instagram versus reality so far. And then, I mean, before I wipe it off, like I'll just do one of the gold ones because the gold sparkly one in that video was really beautiful as well. If you want to see, I mean, I think that looks, that looks pretty, pretty stinking close. Uh, maybe I should have done Minka last because my hand is covered in sparkles now, but let's go ahead and do one of these multi-chromes here in the same exact spot. See how close. Oh yeah. I mean, my lighting is a little different. You can see the green more right there, but I would say with the right lighting for a multi-chrome, it would look the exact same. And here's the other multi-chrome, which is super beautiful. Just so you can see this too. So I would say Adept Cosmetics definitely passed this test. Next we have Glaminatrix Fairy Lights palette. I had to include this because these are the most beautiful swatches I've ever seen from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. I thought they were stunning. Normally I receive PR from Glaminatrix. They did send an email. They were not doing PR for this palette. And I was like, 
Uh, okay, well, after seeing those swatches, I will march my happy butt to your checkout line on launch day and pick it up myself. Like, are you kidding me? I need to own this. So these are like a mixture of just really sparkly metallic shades. And then we also have a holographic shadow. They looked so, 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 so. I cannot emphasize enough. So sparkly in their post. So let's go ahead and swatch them all on my arm. Just do, you know, a decent amount, which they have really good pigmentation. I mean, I can see the sparkle, but it's not like as intensely in your face. Oh, but they look so good. And these apply beautifully on the eyes. Like, you know what? I feel like I see the sparkle happening a little bit more in that one. Like, it's definitely there. Oh my God, look at look at that swatch. Like I just looked up at my viewfinder and I can't even deal. This shade right here is the holographic shadow and I would say this is definitely the most thick. So I'm kind of like pressing down as I'm swatching so I don't get a little bit too much product. All right, you guys. So there's what they look like in my lighting. Just you know, as is, but I would say that they look pretty accurate, which I appreciate even more from an indie brand because it's like, this is something that you cannot return. It doesn't matter if you don't like it. It doesn't matter if it looks different in person. Like most indie brands, unless like something broke in transit, the returns are not happening. So we need to like actually know how things are gonna look. So another pass. Okay, so lastly, I want to show the Winter Wonderland palette from Cosmic Brushes because Cosmic Brushes has very, very intense looking swatches. Actually, my nails like literally match this so perfectly right now. And in my experience, it did swatch well. It's applied really well. Like I, I mean, I think it's a beautiful palette, but I just feel like I really want to swatch these out the way that their swatch photo looks. Like I'm gonna have to like kind of speed this up probably and do them really close together. But I just wanna, you know, see see the comparison. Honestly, you guys, I feel like this one is, I'm like neutral leaning towards negative. I'm in like a really weird position to show you my whole arm right now. So get a really good look real quick. I would say here it definitely looks like edited swatches or swatches that were very built up. I feel like the shifts and the shines are quite a bit over exaggerated. Like even at its best moment, I don't know that like these two multi-chromes look the way that they look in the swatches. I also feel like a lot of these pastels you can see uh, this one right here, these two here, this one here did okay, but they look very light, very pale, like they're not coming off that great. And in the swatches on the photo, they look extremely opaque, extremely bright. And for the, the fact that they're like not even very bright on my super fair skin makes me feel like the other swatches are also not going to be super accurate. It's like, I get it, like that's what sells, that's what gets people's attention, and like it does show the color story well, but I just feel like it's just, I don't know, I'm gonna have to give this one a flop rating. Like we can even give these another chance and like swatch them on my hand, just, you know, I'm gonna like dig in there a little bit more than I normally would and see if we can do like a nice big swatcheroo. Okay. Just so you guys can get, oh, that's a weird swatch, okay. Get a better idea. Okay, you guys, so those are all of the ones I had to talk about today. I'll do my little pile here for you. Um, please, if you enjoy this type of video, let me know. Obviously, I'm always open to your feedback, but tag me if you see any posts with really, really intense swatches and you want to see them included in a future video like this. If you're like, Amy, is this real? Like, can you show what it actually looks like trying to recreate the same picture or the same application? Because I could definitely make this into a series if it's helpful for you. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be everything. Thank you guys for so much positive feedback on my last overhead video. It did like pretty good for me. So I'm happy with it and I will definitely do more of these. So I'll see you very soon. Bye.